when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Stay tuned. All the action coming up next. Welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. And here's the starting eleven for Aston Villa. Douglas Luiz plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, Bukayo Saka is a player capable of taking any game by the scruff of the neck. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing from him? Well, Derek, he has many attributes, but it's his crossing ability that makes him such an outstanding player. He can bend them in with pace between the goalkeeper and the defenders, stand them up to the far post, or chop it back onto his weaker foot to deliver dangerous crosses. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Could cross it in here. And still pressing. This attack looks highly promising. But the danger averted for now. Ramsey. On to Moreno. Douglas Luiz. Alex Moreno. And now with Moreno. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Could play it in. Can he put them in front? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Matty Cash. Now with Diaby. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Can he play it in? And he did well to cut it out. Gabriel. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw-in to come. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Douglas Luiz. Pau Torres. Looking for the final pass that will open things up. But then the one that goes astray. Pau Torres. Holly Watkins. Trying to open up the defence. And there it is! the breakthrough that will do nicely well as you can see he doesn't mess about here does he he's strong well balanced and skillful that's a top class finish On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Focused attacking play. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Diaby. Douglas Luiz. He knew he had to make the tackle, and did.
Declan Rice. White. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Well, he didn't disappoint in the first half, Leon Bailey. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick given. Clean challenge. Diaby. Making progress. And let's give credit to the defending. Bukayo Saka. William Saliba. Gabriel Martinelli. Alex Moreno. And into the last 30 minutes now. Ramsey. Happy birthday, Tony. And now with Moreno. Pau Torres. Well, can they prize them open now? Opportunity. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, what a team spirit this club has. And that comes down to Unai Emery. What a celebration that is. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Gabriel and here's Saliba Declan Rice William Saliba 20 minutes to go in this one it is a decent looking attack here And Villa with the ball again. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Watkins. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. And a confident clearance. Declan Rice Gabriel Jesus oh great defending Jacob Ramsey and now with Moreno Arsenal regaining possession Havertz Martinelli took a really smart piece of defending to stop them 
Watkins. And Cash with it. Esri Konsa. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Not the pass he had in mind. The final whistle and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game. No points picked up. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, a fine performance, as we've come to expect from Leon Bailey. Stuart, I wonder what you made of his contribution. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.